Hello everyone, it's Stacy Speller and today is Monday, January the 20th and here in the United States it's Dr. Martin Luther King Day. And as we get ready to celebrate Dr. King Day in whatever fashion you choose, I'm very mindful of the famous speech that Dr. King made that, you know, is known the world over, his I Have a Dream speech. And for those of you who have not actually read the text of it, I would encourage you to do so. And of course, it's available. It'll be showing on television all day today, but also available for download on the internet for those of you around the world who have not had the privilege of hearing him deliver that speech. It's a very powerful and phenomenal speech. But when I listen to it, I'm always struck by the fact that you can just imagine as Dr. King is giving the speech, his I have a dream speech. The one thing that's very, very obvious in the speech is not only did he have a dream, Dr. King had a plan for how he was going to accomplish his dream. And so what I'd like to start sharing with you, this is the first in a three part series in what I'm calling the designer life. And the designer life is basically saying, you know what? I want to stop letting life happen to me and start letting life happen for me. Because here's what I know for sure from my own personal experience. Life will never go according to plan if you don't have one. And I know from my own personal journey that we all have the opportunity and the tendency even to just kind of go through the motions of life. We go through day after day and week after week and month after month and we look up and years have gone by and then we stop and say, how did I get here? This doesn't look anything like what I thought I would be doing. This isn't anything like what I would have wanted in my life. And we find ourselves where it's like someone has hijacked our life. And that's the best way that we end up getting stuck because we find ourselves in a place that we didn't intend to be and now we don't know how to get out. And so I would encourage you to really start creating some awareness around designing your life, designing the results that you want, the outcomes that you desire for your life. And it's very easy to say, well, that's for, you know, some esoteric cerebral concept. That's just not for me. You know what? I'm just trying to make it day by day. I'm just trying to go through. I'm just trying to get through my circumstance. No. Designing your life is for anybody who can look at their life and say, here's where I am right now, today, my now. And here's where I want to go next, my next level, my next season. And so from your now to your next is going to require you to design it. You need a plan to get there. And so I want to start sharing with you some of the steps to start designing your life. I have a very dear friend, Sophia Nelson, is the new year begins and people talk about resolutions and everybody's good about, you know, as it starts getting close to the end of the year, you know, what they want to have resolutions to change. You know, most of us think about losing weight, you know, maybe a career change or relationship change, you know, some self-improvement. And, you know, 20, 25 days in, most of us are back to our old habits. But Sophia says that she doesn't make resolutions because you don't need a resolution. You need a strategy. And I couldn't agree more. So as we're 20 days into the new year, it's not too late. You still have, you know, many days left in this year. But we're at that point where the people who are going to do something different, this is your time, this is your moment to start saying, you know what, I am going to design something different. I do want a different outcome. I want yesterday to be the very last day that I was complacent, that I complained and cried about what I didn't have or what was going wrong or what I didn't like or what I felt I'm missing out on. That was yesterday, but starting today, I'm going to start designing my life. I'm going to take action. I'm going to put things in place to create the desires that I want. I'm going to go from where I am now to where I want to be next. And only you get to make that decision. So I would encourage you to watch the series, take notes, and really do some self-reflection and say, you know what? There are some things I want to do different. There are some things I need to change. But most importantly, I want to take ownership. I want to take responsibility. And I want to design the outcomes that I desire for myself. 
And so I would encourage you to join me through this series. And in the next part, I want to discuss change because change is the biggie. If you're not willing to change something, you can't design something. And so I thank you and I'll see you next time.